get interesting. Hey, listen, as a Tennessee alum and slowest uh, all-SEC defensive back in the history of the uh, conference and the school. I'm no longer part of the last Tennessee team to lose to Kentucky. Thank okay, you. okay. All right, so with that in mind, I'm going to give you 30 seconds to help convince people in Knoxville not to be jumping off bridges after losing that game. Uh, Derek Dooley is being just absolutely ripped apart today. And I, 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 I begin, uh, these people need to understand yeah. what he inherited. But give me 30 <laughs> seconds of convincing for those Tennessee fans that just don't get it. Number one, it's too cold. Number two, it's not worth giving up your life because it is football and we go on. And number three, this was a rebuilding project that people never grasped onto to understand how big of a rebuilding project it was. Everyone that's seen it looked around the landscape and said, oh, they did it in one year. Oh, they did it in two years. Mm -hmm. The bases were there at those places. The base wasn't there in Knoxville. Too many coaching changes, too many systems changes, too much fraction and friction amongst the team because they've been through too much. If you've got to start a new, clean things out and start over again. And that's what Derek Dooley has to have the opportunity to do. Otherwise... The cycle just keeps repeating, Tim. Yeah. It well, just keeps repeating. Give well, it some time. Well done, and give Gus my best. We'll be